one is Jace. For those who are new here, kindly feel welcome. And um, yes, what will you be doing on a Sunday afternoon after going to church and you're back home and you feel like cooking and then you get to your house, you look at the items that I have in your house and fortunately you find something to cook. So I'll be doing a very simple recipe today and uh, our recipe, I'll be showing you what we'll be cooking. So if you've not subscribed to my channel, kindly go to YouTube or not even YouTube right now. Just go back, subscribe, like this video, leave your comment, put the notification ring a bell on so that anytime I put a video, you'll be among us the first people to watch my video. So on today's recipe, we will be doing a hot dog, a homemade hot dog with all the items that you can get at home in affordable prices. So I'll be showing you from one item to the last item that we'll be using. So a quick one. So ensure you subscribe and like. So let's go about to this one. So these are the items as I've told you. I'll introduce them one by one. So first of all, these are smokies. I would be using hot dog. And as always, you can get smokies at, at any place you want to get them from. Then we have our onions, the red onions. Uh, the white onions are a bit uh, expensive, but if you can afford them well and good, they are the best. I've tried them. Then we'll be having our mayonnaise, which we'll be using for sauce. Uh, mustard, which is gluten-free. I love it. This way. So you, you just decide the kind of sauce you'll use. You can either use tomatoes, uh, to not tomatoes, sorry, tomato sauce. And uh, maybe chili sauce if you want. Uh, yes, I have my chili sauce here. So maybe chili sauce if you want. Only and uh, any 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 sauce of your choice. So in today's recipe, I'll be using all these. I've introduced mayonnaise. Uh, no, <laughs> yeah, I've introduced mayonnaise. I've introduced uh, my mustard, which I rarely use unless on hot dogs. I have my burger sauce here. It has not ended. My burger sauce is here. I'll be using it on this recipe. So my ketchup almost done, but I'll be using this one. So we have our dark sauce. Yes, this dark sauce will be used on the onions only. And uh, not forgetting our main agenda of today, which is, let me just bring it here. So the main agenda for today is our hot dog. You can bake this bread at home. I've never done a bread, a, bread, uh, a video of baking at home the bread, but you can bake it at home. Sorry for the background noise. So you can bake this one at home. Or you can even buy it but on my uh, on my instant like right now i just bought them as i'll show you on the video so i'll be cutting them first so because i'm going to dry the breads first so let me cut them Ready, let's keep this cooking. Let's cook. We are continuing with our recipe. I put on my pan and stick so I'll start by frying because this same pan I'll be using the same pan to make my onions. And since I'm not starting with onions, I will be using butter. Yes, this is butter that I'm using, unsalted butter for cooking. If you don't have, you can use normal margarine. Yes, not much care. So this is how we are going to go about it. Ensure you give it a round mix until it is ready. It's ready. What do you think? The far we've come, we're not that. We are not that far, but what do you think? So let's get this done. So as you can see, my butter has melted. What I'll do, I'll dip in all the breads. The heat is enough and the pan is good enough to contain. So you can use a non-stick. If you don't have a non-stick, you can use a grilled pan, normal pan. So just ensure that you burn your bread right. Then you set them aside. So I'll be using the same tray to put my bread and ensure I cover them with my I'm using a kitchen tissue so in some videos I found myself saying a kitchen towel but this is a kitchen tissue so you might be wondering what did this woman say as much as I know that's not a kitchen tissue that's a kitchen towel so you have to burn them right 
given you know using butter it just gives using butter it gives it a, a just a different taste there's just that taste something about butter so so either way you can put them direct with butter or you can spread the butter here onto your like this you see you spread butter then you put it in the pan so that it can absorb well yes yes yes, yes. i'm doing a quick one because the others that are right here they are all ready they are set they need to be they need to be removed from the pan before they burn so yes we are done with the first one see this is what you get this is what you get so this one i've spread i'll put it here depends with how you want to melt them boom 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 the two are done so we still have two more so the space that's left is for the other one there's just something magical about butter. Whether it's butter, whether it's margarine, there's just something magical. So I won't use too much. Since my pan is burning. Since my pan is burning, I have to add it. Don't ask me why my butter was far, but I don't even know. I don't even like I don't even know how to explain it. But anyway, just realize it when I'm almost done. Okay. Long time, you see. So this one it has too much butter because I spread them and get it there. So yes, we're almost done. So I'm hurrying up to finish this thing. Meanwhile, I need some cooking oil to fry the onions, but still you can use your butter. So all is set, we are done. Our hot dog breads are here. Yes, yeah, so I'll put them aside, cover them with a clean weight towel, or you can even clean, clean, clean them. And on this other side, as you can see, I want to put my onion. So all is set. Let's fry this onion. So first, you heat your oil. When the oil is ready, you add your onion. The onion amount depends on how many hot dogs. I can't say the quantity. It depends on how many hot dogs you're making. Yes, so we are not cooking the onions. We're just making them a little, like we give them some time. You just eat it, Ajay. Una, ikufe. How do I say? I can't I say much. How do I say it in English? More of steamy? No, I don't know. Anyway, so just cook them for a while before you switch off the gas. Onions almost ready. We'll add a little bit of salt, as you can see. Then after adding some salt, I'll be adding some soy sauce. <laughs> Just a quantity that's enough, not too much, not too little. Then I'll toss out, like this, give them a quick mix. As you can see, it's changing color. Let me give you a closer look, you see. You see it's changing color. We cook them for a while, and I'm not making a lot because it's not for it depends on the quantity as i've said so this is how you're making it and it's ready when it's ready you remove it so i'll be putting my switch off my gas putting it aside we are done here so these are two items we are done with so now it's time to make the smokies Hot oil check, gas on check. I'll be adding my smoky and toss them until they are ready. So the smokies are ready, as you can see. I just toss them till they are ready. I didn't deep fry them. Less oil used, and the kind of the way your economy is too high. So less oil used. Our smokies are ready. So now it's time to wrap them. So let's get this done. So I'll be serving. Okay, let me start with this bread. So. Fortunately, it has broken into two. This one will be hard for my son to eat it. So let me take this one that has not broken. So what I'll do first, I'll be adding my onion. I'll put a little bit of onion. So you know these kids need to be taken care of. So 
I there are some sausages I've divided into two, like this one. So I won't put fat one side. I'll put it twice, just like this. Then what do we need on top of this one? We need a sauce. So I'll be starting with this one. There you go. After adding mustard, I'll be adding my burger sauce. Just some meat, not too much because of the kid. So, yeah, you go. Next, his favorite, which is tomato, is always my son's favorite. Oops. So, there you go. So, this is just the simplest recipe you can have. Back at home, you can do this one and enjoy with your family. So, hope you've really enjoyed. I'll do this till the end so that the family can eat. Hope you've really enjoyed and uh, you've subscribed this far. So, yes. On to my plate. My hot dog is here. So, I've made some potato wedges. Maybe if you're interested to know the recipe, you can leave a comment down below and tell me. And I'll be glad to do it. So, you've seen these potatoes on this mako from since I started doing the video till now so i'll be putting a little bit of it because it's my baby and i know it will be a bit hard so you can wrap it with a cling film so that a kid can eat it easily wrap it with a cling film if not you can just set it like this the way i've said so hope you've really enjoyed watching my video from the beginning till now we are giving it a wrap subscribe to my channel like comment and share thank you so much Stop to see you cry I never listen to your tears and